So this week we didn't really have a theme, which is probably for the best considering that um, a lot of people are really busy this week, a lot of people have midterms, um, or they're recovering from crazy weekends, or they have work. So because we don't really have a theme this week, and because my week mostly consists of working as it usually does, nothing interesting coming up yet, I am going to make a list because it's something that I really really like and I make tons of lists every single day I'm definitely a list girl um, we already did top five or top however um, book recommendations so I'm going to move on to TV show recommendations and just do that I watch so much television that it's not even funny so here you go the top four TV shows I recommend to you uh, the first show on the list is, I believe it is on ABC, it comes on after Modern Family, it's called Revenge. It's really good drama slash mystery um, where the lead is a girl whose father was framed for a crime they didn't commit. And, um, loads of shit goes down and it's super duper well written and really really engaging and interesting and I really really enjoy it. Number two is a show that just returned from a hiatus. It is called Misfits. I'm pretty sure I'm positive that everyone on this channel already watches it. I'm sorry if you don't. I'm just assuming that everyone watches it. In case anyone on the channel hasn't watched it, it's pretty much like a better British version of Heroes and there's time travel involved, very very dark humor, very inappropriate humor, um, but ridiculously funny and once again a really 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 good plot. The third show that I'm going to recommend is, um, it's a little bit difficult to get into but once you do it is really good and I've said this before. Um, but it's probably one of the best teen dramas um, on standard cable right now and that is The Vampire Diaries. The first season, you have to watch it just to have context but it's really, really bad up until like the last few episodes. The acting is horrible. Um, the writing just isn't engaging and then something happens and from then on it has just improved so much and it's become so good. It's one of those shows where like I wait like for it every single week just because it and I have to watch it like when it's airing. It's that good. Um, and they have like so many, they've brought in so many different aspects, there's ghosts now, there's witches, there's werewolves, there's hybrids who are like more than one, it's just ridiculous. The fourth show that I'm going to recommend is one that is on hiatus right now and it is coming back in January, so now is the perfect time to start it since there's going to be new episodes soon. Um, and it is on Showtime and it is called Shameless. Pretty much about... Um, simply a really really dysfunctional family that lives in the projects of Chicago. It's such an underappreciated show. It is so good um, and new episodes start back up on like January 3rd or 5th? Somewhere around there um, and I'm super duper excited for that. Well that's it for me for today. Uh, see you guys all next week hopefully with a more defined theme. Um, don't do top TV shows because I will have nothing to talk about and I will see some of you guys tonight. Bye!